Hello everybody, welcome to another commentary starring Luke Salmon. <coughs> Today we're going to be talking about the recent Frosty Snowman collab before the fourth and final one, starring with Frosty, the pre-sequel. This is an interesting little um, name, name for this collab, because this actually was the second Frosty special before the um, fourth one. The third one personally counts as like uh, Frosty and Rudolph's Christmas in July, so that's very funny. <laughs> the way they named named Frosty Returns is like gonna be as it was actually the second Frosty special and not like the fourth one. <laughs> but anyways, this this is actually a one of the f two. Three out of the uh, five special that I never got to see. Yeah, um, very funny enough, I never saw Frosty's Winter Wonderland, The Legend of Frosty Snowman, or that uh, Frosty Rudolph Christmas July before um, hosting the collapse. <laughs> I only saw YouTube poops of those, but never saw the full real thing. Then I actually came and saw all four. Now that I actually um saw all all the specials aside from like winter and one aside from like the Christmas July stuff, cause like we did actually saw one at like a pool party, but they they had to end it very soon, and I didn't get to see how it ended. <clears throat> it was an odd time, on rear time though. Okay, but anyways, I. Anyways, today I'm going to react to this special, mostly by myself, because <clears throat> I am really hoping to see everybody else's commentaries on these collabs, <clears throat> because I actually really like hearing other people talk about the collabs more than I do, because mine is just like lame and not really interesting, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways... Let's watch the special. Three, two, one, go. I haven't changed this intro ever since, like, tr at the beginning of 2016. I probably might get a new intro after the fourth collab. <clears throat> yeah, the warning in this in this um video has been extended with with two new uh, warnings. Typically, um, sometimes some some of my collabs usually um, <coughs> the only few um, collabs that didn't start with my entry was the first collab. Very funny enough, and that's the one I hosted. <laughs> I'm so happy that this was the um. I'm glad I added that ch that at the um hell scene from Jontron's Winter Winter Tale. I believe that's what's the name. It really fit really well with the tone of the original special is. <laughs> ah, oh, I love that part. Oh yeah. Um, I actually use a song that, uh, very funny enough though. Unlike the other, unlike the other few specials, I use the um intro music that was from Jim Sterling's video, which is interesting. And the video was edited to make it look like in 4x3, but in actuality, it's, it is in 60x9. <laughs> well, not really much interesting to say about this one. Aside from that. <laughs> aside from that. <laughs> oh, cool. what a nice little surprise there. Um, the. I forgot One what his name was. Later. Darn it, I wish I Two did. Two hours later. I'm a little on the weather though, because we time. had to like, um, drive very far away to grab something for a uh, car park. Uh, yeah, very funny enough, my father was able to buy me a new car. And that's the interest. He would be able to buy it very cheap. And I, we were really yeah, looking for parts to replace it because it was a bit wrecked and it's very old from like 2015. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I am for talking about stuff. I did. I am sad I miss a of the market stuff. <laughs> oh, that's good old Cedra. She's really doing her best. She'd never been meeting. Well, actually, she actually was the one who beat somebody else. Because one of the last participants, like DNFYT, wasn't able to join in here. <clears throat> Which I did say though that I believe I said though multiple times that she was one of my number one favorite YouTube poopers with her entry in the collab. <clears throat> Mostly thanks to her jokes and her enthusiasm. <clears throat> I mean like but this in this collab, Cedro Rufo Bowl was my number one favorite entry so far. Oh hi! You um number two of I believe I'm gonna look this up was King of the Hero. And maybe Poke, Pokey Dude Zero One One, which funny enough though actually did finally made an entry to an actual collab instead of making instead of having me include an entry to a collab that I canceled. Man, I'm talking about old for DM jokes so far. I'm glad. Good thing I got the ch the bomb back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Imagine, imagine you being you really existent, and then so many imaginary tells you off though that you cannot read it because you're your life human being. He's imaginary. <laughs> oh man! Oh, who else remember that um awful, awful like critic reboot that was posted on the internet? Really long time. I never really saw the show, but I did hear the Rebel Taxi talking about it. Dear kids. <laughs> uh, that that joke was actually taken was from like a um where Peach just goes like, Dear Mario, for parts or anything. You truly Peach. <laughs> oh, there's here's my favorite scene. <laughs> oh, that's after this one. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh oh! But did you know the story of how Frosty took a life? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Instead of taking a wife, he took a life for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really made my day. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. This there are only a few scenes with Cedro's um, original character. That's not her, her Sona. That's her original character. I kind of forgot the name of her. So this, this is the last scene we've seen of her, I believe. Uh, <laughs> What's up, diggity dogs? <laughs> 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 okay. Hello. This is some of well, my favorite jokes I've change. done so far. <laughs> I don't know no, 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 why though. No. Even if if it doesn't really make any sense, telling everybody he made a mess in the room instead of just being never really makes my day today. <laughs> oh yeah, Jojo. He is a very interesting good guy that I've talked to him lately. He is pretty much my friend. <laughs> And I got a chance to have him join in almost all of my collabs. <laughs> oh, that's a good part. <laughs> He's been pretty much reliable on <clears throat> on doing um, entries to most of my Frosty collabs. I pretty I do hope he gets a chance to be get into this fourth one and s include some of the new. Some of my friends who never got a chance to join in this collab be able to come and join this one as well. And that funny um, Twister Stone meme, that's a good old Find Us Joe reference. <laughs> yeah, that kind of reminds that That really is kind of like a joke I made up in my head <laughs> while I was thinking of good ideas. Maybe even from my sleep. Okay, that's a cool, nice little Dutch room reference that he did right there. Nope, I don't. What if? <laughs> <laughs> I did Very actually cool. mention in my last clap uh, that I made that joke though, mostly because like in back around like 2016, 
they wouldn't allow us to close the school despite the fact it's very dangerous outside. But now that they, that they decided to like close schools, this is a really riffing joke today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have been. <laughs> yeah, that's very real. Can't believe I was on the nose for that one. <laughs> oh, what a nice little um, reference to that other collab that I joined. That Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 collab. Even though despite the fact that Frosty proved himself to count, well, he did state that he can only count to five. Although, to be honestly fair here though, it does make so much sense to understand why. <coughs> Although, it does question how he was able to count even said he doesn't count. And that's a nice little shiny, shiny reference. Oh, I don't know what could have helped you out. Yeah, that's an interesting question. We could see this. Why? Why did he repeat it to us? What he we know? But when you're all together inside, oh no! Oh boy, look at this one. This makes no sense, but it's so pretty funny. Oh. Oh, King of the Heroes did a good job, too. I believe I said he was my second favorite person, second entry in the entire class. Uh-oh! Oh, no, the children gave him porn. Oh, no, the poor children. Pillarunish film. What the <laughs> fuck is a <it? laughs> girls? I said girls. <laughs> oh. oh man, I really do really wish more people like Cedro joined most of my old collabs. Mostly the second and third one. But I I really like tall girls. The first collab here though was a really, really big success because it was around a time when Frosty was 30, 50 years old, so I had to like announce a collab to dedicate this anniversary. Unfortunately, for the second and third one, it's unfortunately did not click with them because it was just regular collabs, no push. There was a push for like the um, the edgy jokes, kind of like the dead main maze, but it did not work out very well. But then for the fourth collab, I decided to go with. The um, Frosty the Frosty jokes in this class. Yes, I didn't realize oh, that I could just like make a rule on the Frosty Frosty name. <coughs> Mostly characters being called twice of the name, like That's what we Crystal, just Crystal, said you Crystal said you or Karen and Karen. <laughs> How's it going? That name overload was really, really special. I even added the, um, like, your mom stuff from from his review of the um, doing your mom <laughs> review. <laughs> just, just only including the your mom stuff. Don't let your kids watch it. when they placed it on her head. <laughs> you lose. Gee. Well, it was a nice idea anyway. Uh, oh, this is a good joke that I'm glad I put in. <laughs> Jack Frost sent out the jerk off for the first time in forever. Very funny enough, though, I titled Jack Frost Jack Frost to Frosty Heads in my collab. Yeah, he did not even jack off in my energy. It was... <laughs> yeah, he did in Santa Cruz 011's entry. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part of the entire class. My favorite... The entire segment. Mostly... Uh, <laughs> 
But this is one of my favorite jokes from JoJo that he put in the entire collab. It makes no stupid sense. It's literally just like a woman explaining about asthma. Wow. Well, there's a clip of from Frosty's Winter Wonderland where um Karen was speaking weak fully. It, it makes no sense, but it's really, really funny to what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he is not allowed to marry so many. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part of the entire um, collab. Sensory awful word. <laughs> oh, here's another one from JoJo that I really like. Which I did wish he also had a her face though, cause it's mostly what makes more sense. And that is including the chicken fight scene. It's very funny that, um, <clears throat> it's kind of, I wouldn't understand why he didn't add Crystal's face onto, onto Peter Griffin, cause he was rushing the sentry and he didn't have a lot of time. Oh. So I guess that pretty much makes sense why. Although although I might add Crystal's face in the um, Christmas July edition probably next year. If there's any chance I can do that. Why it's if... a plot device I stole from a better movie. <laughs> oh no. Here's one of my most favorite jokes part of clap. Instead of saying happy birthday, he just said I oh, make baby. Baby. <laughs> Or birthday happy. Oh, <laughs> that Patrick joke. <laughs> oh, Jack Frost yelling at Frost. He's gonna rip the snow nuts off of there. Although, the very funny enough, though, for this next collab, the person who forced Frost to you is the force of Patrick Storm. <laughs> Although some of although when I showed this um clip from one of my friends, mm, one of them um suggested that he included a clip. Oh shit, that and then the next day he fucking died. I never even heard of this cl that clip, but somehow it was really reminded him of that. <laughs> I, maybe next time I might be able to include it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is probably one of the weakest part of the entire collab where it's just intense ear rape. I mean, it doesn't last very long, but it does <clears throat> show that it was not a it was not a very great part to include. But it does does kind of is a great. <clears throat> But the next part is pretty much great, which is why I like combining two jokes into one scene, right here. <laughs> Including that one scene from Rickerell, you're 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 a bad guy, but you're not just to me you're a bad guy. And including this one from the Lego Movie, you'd have to be the bad guy. That's actually really. Actually, you a heartwarming are the most talented scene in this most entire class. Interesting. Spotify has started up pretty and most funny. extraordinary person <laughs> in the universe. And you still <clears throat> yeah. can change. A little um, taste of pace from what really happened. I like the flowers, <coughs> Yeah, I made it screen by for no reason. <laughs> For this <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, poor Red. I kind of believe I didn't notice though at first though, but the um, image actually got blurry when he was like have, having a happy face. I guess, I guess, probably because it was pretty. Blurry when I upload it onto YouTube because I had it the resolution like decent load. sleep routine. So <laughs> can't we just get Yeah, Central really knocked oh, out. And this is kind of one of my favorite scenes from King of the Holidays. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <I'm... laughs> Ticker being a scolded off for just 
doing it as some normal meme. And mostly, firstly, coming to realize though that it's not really just let him do it. I, I decided to also crazy? do this crazy? thing where I yeah. say to like Hotless? make a lip no. sync to How what he's that? actually you saying. Say one last time. <laughs> That's actually a really good edit that I did right there. Making him actually, making his lips actually move to how, what he's actually saying. That's actually was mostly my favorite edit of the entire class. <coughs> and we're almost at the end of the clap. Instead of just doing the same Kirby joke, I did the um, knockout thing. Which can... Mostly, mostly because King of the Heroes already stole my joke. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'll kill you! Man. <laughs> uh, you know what? I actually asked Cedro to add that part in the post as well. Mostly he did that in his her totally spice. So I tried to ask him that day as well, and that's pretty much the end of the collab. Uh, yeah, nice um, in your own row, Tigger. Unfortunately, it does not really, um, it's not really, really aged very well, though. <coughs> and that's it for my commentary on Frosty the pre sequel. It mostly was kind of like not really much of a prequel to the. Prequel to the second Frosty Clap. It's mostly kind of like a sequel to that fr second Frosty Clap. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy. Have a wonderful day. And soon I will meet you on the finale of Frosty the Snowman. Anyways, see you then.